What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be jumping the solenoid and the school wheeler. Uh, so I basically just got this four wheeler. I wanna see if it'll at least like the starters like that for that. Go to over here. Uh, the wire is already disconnected, so headlights should pop on. Yeah. Am I missing something? Oh uh, yeah, these. See if I can jump the solenoid. So from what I don't understand is why the button doesn't work. So It has power but let's figure out why it's not working all right so right here you can see the solenoid and when I jump that come on come on You can see it starts, or it tries to start. So, why isn't the button working? This is the real question. So, next thing I want to do is I want to see if it has spark. So, this thing will. Is this? This isn't. I think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> if it works, it works. It doesn't. It doesn't. spark so we've determined it has spark what's the next step well uh, next step for me is to try to get the switch to work Literally just teaching us how to diagnose a bike. Just trying to get the bike to work, basically.
you can see this one doesn't you can't see through the hole so just clean that really quick All right, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Um, it's, it runs as you guys can see, but it has problems. So the next step is to try to figure out how to get the start button to work and to fix the carburetor. Um, this video is gonna be an episode, it's not gonna be in one whole part. I would do that, but it just takes up way too much storage on my phone and I'm already doing that with the mower build. So, yeah, just like and subscribe. See you guys in the next episode.